Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. Right, on this little video, we're going to be doing a little update on the baby goldfish, okay? And also, we're going to be doing the prize draw for this little Olight torch. And I'd like to say again, this little video is also sponsored by Olight. And we're going to be reviewing another little one of their lights in the video as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I completely forgot about this video <laughs> going back on we first bred the, um, the goldfish. Lots and lots of you went uh, put in for the for the competition, and I completely forgot to do the draw. And no one reminded me to do it. And I looked at it this morning in the workshop. It was on the shelf behind me, and I thought, oh my goodness, I haven't done the draw for that. So we're going to do the draw for that little torch in this video as well. I'll just do a random pick like I normally do off the uh, random generator on YouTube, and one of you guys will be the lucky winner of that today. Okay? So let's get over to the tank and look and see how big these goldfish have got since. They hatched, okay? Right, okay guys, we're at the little tank where they were all hatched out. We lost a few, this is normally the way, mortality rate and everything else, and uh, the stronger ones will survive, and believe it or not, goldfish will eat the other smaller goldfish as well if they can get hold of them. Very aggressive little feeders when they're young, but we've got quite a few in here. You can see some of the bigger ones at the bottom. Now I've got another tank on the workshop bench as well, which I'll take some of these guys out and we'll fill that tank up with water so I can show you them and how they've grown and what they look like, okay? But I've got lots of little hungry mouths looking at me here for a feed. So it's time to give them some food, I think. I hate to let them down. Come on in, you big monkey. He loves eating out me and this guy. Look at that hoover. Oh, look at that. You have my fingers off. You want some more? He, he had that whole handful to himself. Come on in. There you go. Right, that's them all sorted out. Right, okay, just dried my hands off. They're all done. And everyone's looking a lot happier. Right, getting back onto these little baby goldfish now. Now, if you remember, if you haven't seen the other videos of these guys, I'm going to do a little playlist. And uh, I'll put the other two sections in as well, okay, for when we spawned them on the spawning mops. And then we hatch the eggs out to this stage now and they're growing quite quick. Now what I did put on here as well as the is my little pipe going into the top of my filter there which is constantly dripping out and refreshing the water which goes in to the vat and the, as the water level rises up like that it goes straight through out of there and it drips back into my pond you see so it's always circulating around and keeping them nitrates down to a minimum. Put a bit of stone in there as well obviously that's hardening the water up a little bit i've got a little choice of stones over there from my years of breeding fish so i thought i'd put a big lump in there and with that rig because we've got soft water here in wales it's not very hard and the goldfish prefer a bit of a harder water so um a little bit of stone in there always helps like if you want to soften your water up put some wood in there or almond leaves or something like that and that'll put some tannin in the water and also soften the, that water up as well okay but obviously adding stone, it's a mineral makeup, so it adds the minerals to the water and the water slowly breaks it down over time and hardens that water slightly. But you can see lots of these little goldfish, they've put on quite a lot of size. Some of them are quite actually quite big and they're hiding behind the rocks. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually fill the water in this very, very small tank, which I've got up on the bench ready. It's only a tiny little five or six liter tank and I'll pull some of them out, of the bigger ones, and show you them, okay? Okay, guys, there you go. Just got out about, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 in there, just for you guys to have a look at. Now, you can see by the uh, by the size difference, some of them are very, very small still, like this little guy up here, to some of these, up to the bigger ones there. Now, they obviously, they all came from the same eggs. I'm pretty sure that most of these are goldfish, and none of them are koi by the looks of the fins and by the body shape and everything else. We haven't got any koi fry amongst them on this spawn. It was most of the goldfish that were spawning. But um, it just shows you with the genetics and with everything else, some of these guys grow very, very quickly. Now that little guy there is absolutely super small still. And you'll see them chasing these little guys around some of the bigger ones. And they will actually eat them if they can catch them. That's why I put a little bit of weed in there for them to hide in amongst if they if they choose to do so i can see some very smaller ones up on the top there 
in amongst the weed now which are hiding. I'll just put a little bit of food in there because they're in a small pot now, a small tank. It'll look like a lot of food but it, they're not going to stay in this tank. I'm going to swap them back out into their, into their tub in, a, in about half an hour's time. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit of food in there just to see if they'll have a little feed and it'll keep them busy while they're in this little tank if they fancy a feed. I'm not sure if they will but you never know. They're hungry little goldfish. There you go, that one was just chasing a piece there. That one's eating some now. And they're slowly starting to get to work on that. Which is great, but look at that. Some beautiful little goldfish there. With the potential to live up to 20 years or even more, some goldfish. All starting out from those tiny little eggs. And it's lovely to see. No coloration in them as yet. Some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. But they'll get their coloration as they get older. Absolutely fantastic, look at that. I'll try and get you some closer up shots while we're here as well. There you go, they're already having a munch on that food. You can see that food falling down. And even with a little goldfish there, they've got some, uh, they got some food munching capacity on them. Look at that, that one took that whole piece of flake in. That one's starting to look a little bit golder actually. That one right in the center of the picture there, which is pretty awesome. Bringing little fish into the world is an amazing hobby. Just make sure if you do do any of these or follow any of my breeding videos, guys, just make sure that you've got places where you can take them to or rehome them because we don't want to be bringing loads and loads of fish into the world just to have them die off because you can't look after them or you haven't got enough tanks to put them in, okay? That's very important when you're breeding fish because some species like my zebra danios and things, if you followed that, you can have anywhere up to three to four to 500 babies in one single go and they really do lay a lot of eggs those guys and um, and you could end up being inundated with fry and not knowing what to do with them all so always take that into consideration when you're doing these things okay so I think what I'll do now is I will just do the draw for the other uh, that other oh like that that um, where's the box where's the box gone here it is, it's the Warrior Mini. That's the one. The Warrior Mini will do the, the draw for that now. And hopefully one of you guys is gonna win that. Okay guys, just come to the computer and I've just randomly picked a winner and it's Richard Dyson. There you go, Richard, that torch is all yours, mate. If you uh, go to my Facebook group page, uh, Mark's Aquatics, and send me your, or private message me your details. I'll get that in the post for you as soon as possible. Thanks very much, mate, and, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Well, congratulations to you. I hope you enjoy that little torch, and um, it'll keep you safe and get into your car and backwards and forwards for many years to come. Now, we'll have a check out of this new little Olight that they sent me, okay? Right, okay guys, here is their Batten 3 Premium Edition designed to stand out. Now I love this little torch, it's fantastic. I've had it out of the box once just to give it a charge, just to make sure everything was up to speed. Okay, it's 1,200 lumens, this little torch. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's get it out of this box and have a look. Lovely little welcome there from Olight, as usual. And a little, little safety thing there of what you've got to do obviously when you get the torch first they come with these little these little pull tabs that you've got to pull out to make sure the torch works correctly okay here's the torch itself here's the inner box here is the other bits as well we'll just stick that up there for a minute right we'll get into this box first we'll see here that's just the charging lead inside this box here Nice little orange tips on it as well. Nothing else in the box. So we got our charging lead. And what I love about this is that it comes with its own little little holder and built-in charger. Look at that, that's fantastic. You got the USB charger there, obviously where that fits into there. And the other end can either go into your computer or into a USB charging outlet, any type you like there. A little flip hit, little flip hinge lid which comes up, reminds me of a Zippo lighter. Look at that, like a big Zippo lighter. And the little torch is inside. Now you can see it's glowing green there. It's got a little LED 
which is glowing green when it opened up just to show you that that torch is fully charged and that is the charging port inside there if you can have a look now with the other O lights you can see from the other ones I'll just grab the other ones the other one I've got here this is a charger from one of my other ones which they kindly sent me if you look right into the base of there you can basically see that and that has been incorporated into there sorry and then the outlet is there where on there they're just clipped on so they'll still clip onto that charger if you've got one of those but I love this little case where it just drops in all nice magnetically holds itself in place awesome anodized color and a nice little snapping lid look at that now some of the specs on the back of the box for this torch are we've got on the turbo side of things here we goes up to 1200 lumens okay and that'll last for 75 minutes on high power it's 300 lumens and that's 95 minutes continuous use medium is 60 lumens seven and a half hours maximum use and on low we've got 12 lumens 33 hours on that one and on the moonlight setting which is 0.5 lumens it'll last up to 20 days continuous use that's an absolutely amazing um, length of time for a battery to uh, to charge and obviously you can keep these little guys in your car or in your handbag or in your rucksack when you go camping one thing i actually do with mine i've got a nice little um unit which charges mine up i'll just grab that so i can show you right okay guys here is the charging pack which i use okay now it's a little solar charger now i do a lot of walking so it's um it just basically unravels i've got one of my other old lights on there i think it's the freya that the one i use up the top there so it's basically just pop that off there pop that off there and then as it unfolds you've got a lovely bank of solar charges which what I do is I actually lash this to the top of my rucksack and I let that hang off the back of my rucksack and it charges my light as I go and I go for a walk so it's always charged up and always ready to rock and roll here's the Freya that's the one that I normally charge that charge that with in the case and that one just sits in a nice little holder as well where that one came that one came from as well and that's got the silicone beacon light in there as well and that just hangs on the back of the rucksack that goes in there nice little magnetic lock and that one goes there so that's what I charge that with but this one will charge exactly the same because all you basically do is you just plug that in to the charger in its place into the case snap the lid down put it in a nice little small pocket in the side of your rucksack pocket and you're good to go so that's a really handy little torch and obviously now we've got that one there we've got the other one that they sent me which is the warrior mini now these are going to be on sale at the moment obviously it's the 26th today this is the release of the video i'm going to put the promo stuff in there the codes they've got a sale at the moment and i think it's um mark 10 i think it is and we, I'll put that in the link in the description below with all the other stuff for their promo deals and codes. If you want to pick up one of these lovely little torches, flashlights, wherever you are from in the world, you can go and collect yourself up one of these little guys. And they're absolutely fantastic. Look at that. And for the size of that torch, it really, really, I won't put it in, but if you, if you double click that, whoa, that is super, super bright. I just spooked the gobies. Aunt Blenny's just gone flying around the tank. But that is super bright that is beautiful little light to have in your car in your pocket and i'll tell you what if you shone that in your eye in anybody's eyes they'd be out the game for a couple of for a few minutes while you made your escape and it's a lovely little torch to uh lovely little torch to have that is i do thank you Light, for sending this and sponsoring this uh, little video as well and um i think i'll leave it there guys i think i'll just pack all this stuff away i'll give you one little last look at the um at the goldfish clear all this stuff out of the way I am gadget man after all I love my gadgets but there is the little goldfish look at that anyway guys I hope you like that little video enjoy your little torch that you won as well I'm glad that uh, I'm glad you won that hope you have that hope you enjoy that and it helps you out in the winter months to come
Anyway, guys, as always, you're all loads. If you, any of you guys want to go fund me still on my GoFundMe page for my saltwater aquarium, the biggest British one, I'll leave a link for that in the description as well down below because that would be super handy. We've raised up 400 pounds at the moment, which is absolutely amazing. Some of you guys really did deep, dig deep in your pockets and help me out, and I really do appreciate every penny that you guys have put in. So if you want to see that become a reality, get into that GoFundMe page put in whatever you can it all helps out and it's all going to just stay there and keep building up and building up until we get enough money to put this little project together okay so as always guys your stars love you loads take care and i'll see you on the next episode of marks aquatics bye for now